Welcome back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 12 of our legendary Yuan Bo Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, Cathay seems to still have itself a rat problem and only Yuan Mao can solve this. We could just go ahead and give it the auto resolve, but we would lose all of our well-trained army except for the bandits, who I guess would just be hightailing it out of there. I think we could fight a little bit better, I bet we are going to be fighting tooth and nail and likely uh, down to the blades after all of our arrows have been expended. The next battle of the rats begins, although we could probably lure them up into this kind of pass here. Let's see what kind of dastardly uh, tactics we can get up to. Alright, so they do have the high ground as well, so I think best course of action is going to be definitely pulling back. We can come on into this valley here and force them to fight much more condensed environment? I don't know, we'll see. Let's grab our Jade Warriors. Setting up for this battle is going to be a little bit strange. We want all of our armored lads up front, so Jade Warriors and Halberd Boys on the side. See just how many we need to actually block off the pass. I'm thinking the best course of action is going to be to come to about here. We want to stay a little ways away from this bluff here because they'll just send all of these Skaven Slave Slings to throw their rocks over the top at us, which would still start doing a little bit of damage even with our shields. So what we'll do is we'll grab our Long Spears, keep them in the back as those reinforcements. Long spears. We've got our Bandits of the Silver Road. We've got so many archers. Uh, let's go I ahead and we see... It. Uh, it's like a total of... 10 archers. Let's go 5 in front. Defenders of Cathay. So many peasant archers. What we'll do is we'll grab two of these guys here. Bandits of the Silver Road included, since they are the best in melee. Make sure we know which archers are already deployed. Grab the rest of them, and then just kind of slot them on in behind. We want to move them apart just a little bit, so they're not getting in each other's way when they have, if they have to turn to fire. We'll just have to get the uh, whole formation reset up once we get over into position. Other Halberdier warriors here. And then the crows ready to stop any nonsense that might be summoned underneath our feet. I think I'm going to pull our lord down to about here to try to lure all the rats across. That way our archers and everything can fire on in completely unimpeded. Operation Retreat or Victory is a go. You guys head on into group one. We'll get you in uh, guard mode as well. All of the infantry is a group, and then we'll have Baby Yuan and the Crowman. Bring Yuan back. That way you can defend the middle if any nonsense is afoot. Battle begin. We'll just take this whole group here, just kind of pull them around. Let's grab our archers and set them up first. That is to be embraced. First, gonna pull you guys round. We do not have a lot of room to uh, work with here. We'll go three. Really, that's how we're gonna deploy them? Let's go three. 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 And then we'll have one, and then the uh, bandits up front here. They are all staying up top, so we have plenty of time to get our formation set up. We just have to kind of ignore them. Don't get worried about it. Set the warriors up, we'll have to have plenty of jade warriors in position. Got so many archers here. A little bit concerned about just getting shot at from up on this, this bluff here, but that's what we have our crowman for. Up as a long spears, you guys move in to kind of take this flank and the others can come on in behind our archers just to make sure we have all of the harmony our deers I don't want anyone that close to the bluff may just have them in the middle we don't have to worry really about any enemy mages this time Snickich himself is going to be an issue by just kind of blending through our lines but we'll see if we can make do Pull the other halberd halberdiers then kind of to the center of the line. We'll send them out where they're needed afterwards. Bringing harmony. 
Beautiful. You want Mao, you come on down to about the middle of this hill. The rose where they're at. Right, just in time for some ratty reinforcements to come chittering over the hillside. And actually get some good sights of them. Disgusting. The rest are content to sit up on top of the hill, though. Which is likely because we attacked them. And Hangao grenades might be needed here. I don't know, they're, they're gonna start sweeping towards us. They, they are very confident in their numerical advantage. Any of these Skaven slaves we do see that are out and about, we can just kind of maul. None of their infantry can hold against the Krobin. Some that I'm seeing so far, just a bunch of Skaven slaves. They do have Murda and uh, Ognag, the Hackmasters, but besides, speed things along while everyone gets into formation. It's so many rats, and they have. Looks like the entire summon from the, the garrison still left over. Alright, all right, let's get you archers kind of rotated here. Roman, keep coming on back. Although, if they're going to clump up, we might drop some Nangal grenades down. We'll just have to absorb a little bit of missile fire from them. They're going to sit up on top of the hill, but there's so many of them, they don't really know what to do. Come on over here and just jump this group of Skaven slaves. I mean, sure, there's an assassin in there somewhere. I'm not, not that concerned, though. Clump of them. Let's see what we can do. I'm thinking we should try to take this first volley, though. Let them bombard down here. Get as much damage as we can as we try to get them moving forward. Perfect, so that is all used up. Get this group of Chroma up in the air, they got annihilated by those slings there. I bet it's the assassin down on the ground as well, it's doing so much damage. Get the Chroma away. Yeah, that went way worse than I expected. Alright, alright. Things can get serious now. Sweeping our way. Can you kind of land down in amongst these groups of Skaven slaves just to do the damage? There's not much they're going to be able to do about it. Keep an eye out just in case they do decide to earn the slings to help. They're just running. It is ignore the Chroman. Nope, they just turned one of the units there, so let's get the Chroman moving. Ultimate harassment force here. Warrior! Spread the warriors a bit. Snickich is in extreme concern. Right, now they're kind of just in a single file line now. I'm not sure what the plan is. Let's not get too close to those Gaven slaves. We'll want to jump in when we are uh, good and able. See our orchard line now. Plan there, my friends. Who truly has missile advantage? Okay, they're gonna flee on back up the hill a bit. Not much we can do about it. Let's go ahead and try to jump on this group of Skaven Slaves' spears. This is probably going this group. Some more damage, trying to get them up and willing to come after us. Assassins are far enough away, all of the slings are going to start coming on back over now, so let's get up in the air. So they took down a few. The fewer rats we have to deal with with our arrows, the better. Let's collapse together to scare this unit off. Blank should get rid of them quite aggressively. Empress's Roman seem to be a bit confused. Get back up in the air, no reason to get any flanking attacks, even from the likes of Staven Slaves. 
Arch is going to start firing now. Beautiful. Even if it is into the woods. Clearing the way. And they should be out far enough away to get it back up the air. Arrows are starting to rain down now, even though the camera is starting to try to... Having a bit of issues there. We want in just to stop them from getting through. We'll have to deal with the Death Master too, so let's come on back. Looks like we're not having to deal with too many of them actually making it. Beautiful. Get closer to the line. We'll have the crows actually move away. So we can come back in and go after those archers. Extra defense for everyone here. Back, come on back into these Skaven Slaves and just give them the Celestial Sweep. We will send our other Halberdiers forward. And with the Sweep. Grief, they're gone. War Crimes with Cathay. Let's come on back in and get these Skaven Slave Slings in the back line. We'll probably send the Crows over the top and have them just blast them a bit with some of their grenades. Back to come after this group of slings instead. Hold the line, Spearman. If you can use the, the sweep again. Alright then. Keep on firing, archers. You go after Mormal. And the different groups of crowmen going after different groups of archers. There are so many of them in that back line there. Push further into their uh, their back line before you use the Celestial Sweep. Ears move up to take your lot of their formation in line here. Firing on the Deathmaster is not a good use of resources. Fleeing and then looking back up in the air. Or dropping the grenades. This is a huge blob of rats. Come on, everyone needs to be up in the sky before we can use the grades. Get a more of a narrow formation. There we are. Alright, let's get these grenades a dropping. For all the rats that were already not fleeing. So you're dropping it right here in this big blob. That was incredible. Most of them are fleeing for the hills. Let's go ahead and have you smash it at the Steven Slave that slings now. Deathmaster is into the front line of archers, but it matters zero. Let's have you move in and go after this assassin. Drop the Lord of Gag Grand Cathay on everyone fighting. Uh, Deathmaster helped them out just a bit there. All our terrifying crows do their work. Just a whirlwind of blood and guts. It's amazing. See the Deathmaster running around like a crazy with those three warp blades. He's a problem. Yeah, it looks like there's something wrong with the Celestial Sweep where you can just keep using it. I mean... Don't mind if I do. Keep scaring off these poor rats. They're not going anywhere. Some of them are getting into the lines with our archers. And pull the crows away, that way they don't get too caught up in too many fights there. They're also getting shot at by our own archers, which is no good. You come on back and go after this assassin. I'm not really sure what the Deathmaster's plan is, but doing damage to our archer teams. All archers focus firing on the Deathmaster while he tries to flee. Gotta hold the line here with your infinite whirlwind blade. Ah, I see the dastardly plan of flee for the hills and then hit them from behind. I'm a big fan of Bugs Celestial Sweep. Hit him again. Oh, maybe not. Give him the whirl again. Become Deathmaster Snicket Ascended. Perhaps there is still the cooldown, it's just not showing that there is. Something weird's going on there. 
Meanwhile, our crows are getting shot for no reason, so let's send them in. Get all of our bladesmen away from the Deathmaster, let him get shot to pieces. Look at all that missile resistance, no one's uh, resistant to 500 missiles at a time. Give him the sweep. They might do it this time. Or not. Just a normal bonk. This went even better than expected. Alright, let's come on over and give the Deathmaster one final smack on the noggin. Let you guys turn and fire your arrows at this guy so we don't have to deal with him coming back. Uh, where's our surviving Jade Warriors? Let's set them up here. Peasant Spears over here with the... We have to send someone after the Deathmaster, don't we? Go get him. He's quite a resilient fella. Get all of our normal archers just go ahead and set them up so they can fire on the next wave of enemy recruits. It's really just the slings that are able to do anything to us. Warm up, lads. Alright, that is a slain lord. Let's go ahead and have these three then go after Murda. Harassing the Deathmaster left and right here. Rose out and away now so they can stop getting shot at by our friendly units and just kind of wait for the next set of reinforcements to waddle on over. They're making it. It is quite the jog, though. Didn't spawn into the battle thinking they were going to have to run a mile. Or 14. I'm real excited, though. They've had plenty of uh, good old warp crack. They've been told we have more. It's like uh, Deathmaster's fleeing for the hills. Let's make sure the archers finish him off and we'll have good old Mao come on back over and hold the line. I'm thinking we're not really going to get to much of a fight here. They're going to probably turn and run the second they get over here. Let's find out. Archers? See them on their way. It would be awesome if we could light trees on fire. Last, this is not Three Kingdoms. Or even Pharaoh. Make sure all of our archers that are left are focus firing. Infect Pei here, the uh, Lord. Get rid of them. We'll send you on Mao and to club some Skaven slaves. Pop down that extra defense. And here comes the absolute tidal wave of arrows. Confident for a very short period of time. Not, not worth it. I would agree. Can you use the sweep again yet? Give him the old whirl of doom. I mean, he, he plants that foot and then just decides, mm, maybe not, not this time. Got Night Runners coming on in. Let's pull our Krillin away from the Night Runners. They actually fight pretty well. We'll let them get engaged somewhere else, and then we'll send in the Crows. Get our Archers reset up so they can actually fire on, on lads. We lost a lot of them when the Deathmaster decided just to press through our lines. Ah, uh, but that's that. Rats decide the battle is indeed not worth it. We'll see how it not worth it we can make it for them as I run down their surviving elites. Let's go after those night runners. I'll catch you in a moment. And we weather the vermin die, no problem. And no one is better at stacking Skaven bodies than uh, the Chroman. Good grief. 880 kills here, 554 for the normal variant. The only lads that came just as close were our halberdiers here, who were absolutely ripping it through with those Skaven slaves at 660 kills. Great stuff. Uh, we only get a little bit of gold from pardoning the captives because it's just a bunch of uh, malnourished mine workers. We're going to go ahead and venerate those ancestors for a bit of replenishment. Keep your lives, sir. I, I really don't think we're having them serve Cathay. But let's be real. Yeah, storms don't allow it. I don't think we will. 
you got Deathmaster by nature now on you on Mao as well, so he can stalk and have a greater success chance for his heroes in the local region, which is great. Rat catcher for you on Mao as well. Celestial what skittles Jane. can we give you? Already the hammer of Wei Jin. Let's grab Rally for that leadership bump. Not nearly as powerful, but once we get down here to stand your ground. Hello. It'll also allow us to drop down wherever we'd like an extra melee defense of 24, which will be absolutely incredible alongside his normal ability there. Uh, the Lord of Grand Cathay, which gives you a 40 bump in melee defense. We will turn our lads into a wall. Give you the Dawn Glaive, sure. Extra melee attack and defense, and then you'll be dropping it for everyone around you. One of our strongest generals. I like the Crystal of Kunlan quite a bit. I don't like the Obsidian Amulet so much, but we don't really have anything I'd like to combine that up with for now. These are standard just for your own units. Fighting against Dark Elves and likely will be Nakai up here. So I'm actually thinking the Lichbone Pendant here is going to be a little bit better since Dark Elves and Lizards are known for throwing lots of spells and having high resistances to physical damage. Cool. Right I would here. take that. Should now be able to, to claim the Village of the Moon. I don't like that they managed to kind of split up like this, but just a bunch of Skaven Foresting. slaves that shouldn't make things no. too bad for us. Onward to victory. Another battle we are going to have to fight because even though this is just a bunch of Skaven slaves, the auto resolve is very unkind. Uh, so let's go Lichbone Pendant. You guys already have magical attacks. He does too. Uh, can we give these to our missile troops? Because you have magical and fire damage. Hot diggity. Alright, fast cut. The mic disconnected. We look to be back online, so let's get the battle going. We don't quite want as plumped up as a formation as we had last time. But I still will make one that is very turtly in, uh, in essence there. We want the rats to surround us and then be dashed on our wall. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and hold up like we're marching on the, uh, the road here and then had to assume defensive formations even though we attacked them. Pull the swords kind of back. We need to move a lot of the archers around that way I know exactly what we have here. We want them no more than four. Defenders of four deep. Otherwise, it could be too wide for my units to actually be able to defend. We'll hide some more archers over here in the woods for an ambush. Ambush. They can have some spearmen to help defend their ambush. And we'll have the other unit on the Aziz side. Alberdeers. Ready to stop anyone from getting too close. Make kind of a box formation though. Any of these archers can easily turn and deal with threats coming from the side. No problem. We've got our banded archers, which I'm going to keep in the back here as an additional protection on our flanks. Crows coming from around the mountain. Unit set up. Dark mode for all of the melee and missile infantry in Cathay. And our general leading from the front. One in position. Let's get it going. We're basically just gonna take this position, this unit here, and rotate. That way, this good old ambush of the forest can actually pay off. Take you two. Take you off of Firewheel for now. with the good old soon TM. We await the enemy. Stand up on the main road there and hold the line. I'm gonna have the crows. Those are his night runners. I will send the crows over the top. Deal with these clan rats. The night runners all ran the other direction there, so we can we can pretty confidently ignore them. Soldier I'm gonna send you in to go challenge their captain to a 1v1. Looks like the Night Runners know we've got an ambush over here, so let's go ahead and pull this group well back. 
Oh, wait, they don't have any issues themselves. Stay I'm gonna stand here. As the crows take to the skies. Let's see if we can find anyone else in the forest, but there shouldn't. Oh, there we go. Some more Skaven Slave Slings. You go deal with the bigger unit. This one should flee pretty quickly. Old strategy. Fire archers, you turn to help deal with this group. We have our own archers moving up. Spearmen take the position on this side. Fire archers moving to start dueling with these night runners. One but the spears start firing. Robot are ripping them apart in the woods, exactly what I wanted to see. Land Rat Spears decided to fight for a brief moment. Night Runners are already terrified of the flaming ammunition. Here's their verminous flesh. Anyone feels froggy, we'll just switch the targeting then. You guys fire on this group of night runners. Hit him with the old blender. Go after the next group of Skaven Slave Slings in the middle here. Everyone behind him can get a little bit of more melee defense. Let's move them in to take the middle line. Night runners have been dealt with by our ambush. And it's turned to help out with this group. You disrupt these Skaven Slave Slings, get the Crowman back into the air. You guys got to line up, we'll just drop the bombs. Seems they're all up in the air. Come on then. There's like one or two of them that are still fighting those spearmen. I see the way. There we go. It's bombing time. Joy Doom. Huffing the forehead slayer. Gotta love the damn guy grenades. I don't think there's going to be many that are willing to stand and fight for long. Extra large helping of bonk. Oof. Single helping. Send them on back to the Under Empire. A glorious win for Cathay. This one we shall go ahead and just take back to the map. Here we are, one falls in the fighting. We are able to go ahead and just come on in and claim the Village of the Moon as is. Yes, yes. We'll then drop shields and hold the line until these last few Skaven have been hunted down and dealt with. The new Water Snake Breeder will have to give that over to someone who is needing some extra skills. Village is up here raiding because uh, he knows he's useless. He can pull in new troopers from, from uh, pretty much nowhere, but it'll mostly be the likes of Marauders in our own territory, thankfully. Lokir is pressed back to Tai Chai. We do have Silental here holding the line at Jiju. What magic is this? We already defeated Jiju once. So this army is pretty dangerous. Currently on Great Bastion for more replenish rate and the Ancestral Warriors in our squad. Let's go ahead and switch back over then now to the Celestial Lake for that control and income. Let's kind of keep the bar between these two as filled up as we can. As, since even when it's not set to the Great Bastion, we're still gaining that extra replenishment rate as long as that energy is filled. First among warriors. Now, strike Jiju. I'll fight from the front. The place to fight is from the front. All right, we've got some pretty dangerous units coming across the field here with the Doomfire Warlocks. We have the Lesser Doom Bolt, which is still just terrifying. Need to 
really keep an eye out for any kind of uh, surprise white circles. But our own crossbows are both more numerous than theirs. Yeah, at this point, I think stronger. No armor piercing, but 27 damage, and the uh, Dark Shards here are not actually packing that much armor, so they should fall in droves. We need to send our crows to deal with both the Doomfire Warlocks and uh, the Reaper Bolt Throwers, but I think we should have that well in order. Battle of Skirmishers versus the Shield Lock and uh, Rain Down Bolt Armies. Let it begin. Fall of Silenthal here on the Terracotta Graveyard. So there is this lovely little bit of ambushing area over here for us we could use. We don't have a lot of troops that are capable of actually ambushing the enemy though, so it may not be the best course of action for us. This is actually our only real high ground we can gain though on them, so it's probably going to be our best course of action to go ahead and claim this. We're all suppose. Back. I'm going to pull them a little bit closer together, though. We're going to try to use the terrain as much as we can to our advantage. They do have those bolt throwers, and those are going to be a huge problem, but a little bit of applied crowman should deal with them no problem. Those reaper bolt throwers don't have the most uh, range, which is going to be definitely working in our advantage. Shotguns on this flank, because they'll have much less of an opportunity to actually get through. Spears helping defend them. Arcade Warrior Wall. You guys kind of slanted to avoid getting shot by shotguns. Pretty sure the Celestial Faithful the spy is being blasted a bit. Have another unit of the Jade Warriors kind of holding up behind the uh, front line there. Reinforcements where we need them. And the other spears this flank as much as needed. So we're going to take the front line then, move them up a little bit, spread them out. Order and balance. Warriors. Got the archers in where we can. That'll hopefully be who they target with those doom Warrior bolts crossbows. first. Don't Order tell the peasants that. We do love them a little bit more than the Bretonians do at least. Only minorly. This group at least gets proper spears and a uniform. Alright, we'll go ahead and bring in Grey and Maka. My own fuzzy demon from the house. Grey being a very lovely shade of verdant green instead of instead of grey. All of their ears are perked up looking at me. Alright, let's go ahead and grab our infantry, get them in formation. Archer is the same. Roman and then single entities. I usually like to get them at number one for the single entities, but it didn't happen this time. Rather up front. Can use Maka to kind of block bolts back at those Dark Riders, which should be great. Let it begin. What we want to do is kind of take everyone and pull them up a little bit more up on the hill here. If we have the best spot. We might have the best spot. We'll just rotate these shotguns a little bit, that way they can actually participate in the battle. Is Indeed. Need them back far enough where they're not going to get immediately attacked, but we have to kind of keep in mind that they have, they need line of sight to actually do any damage. We'll have the two lions working together to defend our uh, shotgun teams. Beautiful. Definitely going to need to go for kind of a bullet style attack on those Reapers, especially since, since they're just going to be sitting here and waiting for us to arrive. Which is a little bit unfortunate. We might be able to coax out a few of those Doomfire Warlock bounce spells. Speed the battle along a bit there. Their lord's gonna rotate over to start firing his crossbow. Doesn't make 
since. Unslow things down. I'm gonna send this group of crows to disrupt these dark riders here. Shades up front. Just trying to figure out exactly how we can make it on in here safely. Dark riders are pretty dangerous. We lose the crows, but yet take down those Reaper Bolt Throwers. That's entirely fine by me. Over the crows a bit, so they're not taking as much fire from those lads, and then send them on in. Keep those shades disrupted. There it is. Switch targets, because the shades still aren't going to want to fight anything but lads from missile distance. Try to disrupt them a bit there, that way they're not getting shot at. Do fire warlock spells, get them up and out of the way from the enemy. Oh, it's heat seeking. Thank goodness it didn't do much damage. Alright, now we gotta try to get the crows out of here. Easier said than done, of course. Let's send this group of crowmen in to uh, maul the back of these uh, four fools here. Everyone on in to hit the riders with the crossbows. Should be able to take down a ton of them before the other group manages to uh, realize what has happened here. Up the air. How much damage we get on Silenthal? Work together there. Crows. Dark riders don't really have any resistances at all, so we should be able to move in here and get a lot of damage. Especially if they don't really react to it at all. Doing darkness, soul blight. Alright, fair enough. Same time, it's not working that well for you. Dark riders are broken. Focus the crossbows, who are also very quickly broken. Back up here then. What's the plan then, Dark Elves? Just hold your hill. Fair enough. Let's get our army then. We're moving them in. He's still sitting there firing like a uh, mad lad. We'll send some of the weakened crowmen over the top. They saw the crows and just the hills. Surround and destroy here. The one that wants to also try anything will have another unit of Chrome and go after the Dark Riders. Oh, those are the Doomfire. Okay, fair enough. Doomfire Warlocks are pretty tough. Send in the Lions. Throws back up in the air. Gotta actually watch for what the icons are. Come on, crows, get on away from there. That way we're not losing more of you than we need to. We can send the lions in to bully these Doomfire. We're gonna launch another Doom Bolt. Get moving there, crows. Not as well before they're slain. Lions away, they did their job beautifully. Confident. Not for long, I can guarantee it. We're gonna try to save a little bit of our ammunition here. We'll send these two Chromans as a uh, group around back. Lions use the forest as a shield, please. Let our shotguns get up on the hillside here. Here they come. Our spears kind of rotate a bit. Same thing with our archers. Their most important targets for us to deal with are those Peter crossbows first. Lions, go ahead and move in here. Let's reflect the ammunition back for these shades, who have pretty dangerous attacks. 
pros, go after this group of dark shards. Last red spears on their way in. Stop the dark repeaters. That's all we need you to do. Long spears, get these riders. Everyone else is going to smash into the front line and get kind of blasted to bits. Lend them up. These pros back up in the air. Lions keep chasing those repeaters. Spears come and help out with uh, the lads that managed to flank us. Those shotguns cracking. Delete them crossbows. I'm gonna fire on this unit. Don't don't do whatever else you were doing there. Lions come on in. Really, their most dangerous unit is gonna be the dark shards. Let's blend them up. Here, like your missiles back at yourself. Let the stop hitting yourself commence. Dark Riders keep making it on in. Every single charge they get into peasants is going to be very dangerous for us. You worry about the Lord. You just target with those shotguns to deal with. You have to look too much there. He's a very large target. Go away and let the shotguns continue to do their work. Anyone with a crossbow, let's go ahead and start blasting on these repeater crossbows then. Jade's working in tandem, that's pretty dangerous. Bring the Jade Lion back over. We have it. Athean Supremacy. Of course, we bring ladies with shotguns. You do not. Big fools. Even one more. Oh, they got a turn. How sad. Oh, that's the battle. And the surgical annihilation of the Blessed Dread is uh, continuing according to plan. 119 lost there. Should have been much worse on our side, but we managed to crush them. Look at his grin. This boy is stealing some goodies and having a good time. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, occupy Jiju this time. Take this and hold it. Along to Cathay now. Thanks for sending your men over to uh, defend it, fool. Celestial General. E parlor here for growth and income. Let's go ahead and. Good as is, because Yin's giving us more replenishment rate. No, it's just growth. Interesting. Uh, Yin was replenishment rate at one point. Humility in we'll all. We'll go ahead and kick this out and replace it with something that gives us some more income. Then. Attention. That gives us two percent more, but I'm talking kind of a straight. Injection of gold. Your aim here for you. What is your army mostly consistent of here? Got some Froman and some Canadian Jet Lions. Servant of the Dragon. So love to get some Eastern Fires in here. Is that more ammunition and missile strength for the Iron Hail guns? Always good. Stone gaze for a Jet Lions. Does it give them any more armor? Armor's not bad. Speed for all of the aerial units. Let's go for Stone Gaze. Upgrade those lions. Let's see about giving him a pair of each. So your Gate Master, let's come on back over and continue to make him a bit more chonky. He is our ultimate tank there for Yuanbo and his squad. General. Some pretty excellent battles here in this episode. Not very much progress has been made, but battles galore. I mean, 20% more speed for all Yang units just seems insane. I'm here for it. Welcome additions. Welcome additions. We've got enough stone tokens then to give ourselves a another commercial district. We haven't already made Shang Wu one. We'll come in here and do so right away. Let's make sure I haven't already. It's already a commercial district. That would be a waste. We will instead come over here to Pop Box. Make you a commercial district. That was about to be a gigantic waste. Beautiful. 
now we're at two extra stone and steel tokens or a total of three extra? You can only have four total. I think just one more of our uh, districts and we're good to go. We're working over here towards the Meteor Gambit and things like that. Your faction's armies have their movement ranges fully restored. Turn you into Torox. Fiscal treaties. You can make an allied target. Uh, allied faction's background income is siphoned into your faction for 20 turns. Income is sent to you on bow, 2,500 per turn. That's not bad. Not at all. Stealing a little bit of their, uh, their cheap gold. Let's upgrade Hex and Waddle here, as well as anything else we can that's going to be cheap. Iggy's going up to Pier 2. Let's go ahead and upgrade also. I think Rod of Dawn is closer to Marathi, so we'll upgrade that first. Sorcery through me. As far as you, Big Papa Bo, let's go into March Stance and move on back towards Hex Waddle. To beach. We'll trade out these Peasant Long Spears while we're here for some Halberd Warriors. And as much as Saitang is awesome, he's he's a bit of a much of an overkill here for Yuan Bo's army. So let's bring him out instead. Where does this go? Ugh. That's now where we want him to go. There's one that'll send him back to Cathay. I think it's this one here. Beautiful. And then he can link up with Yuan Mao or Yu on the other side. Back to Lustria, where we will have. Saitang, go back to actually start watching Cathay. Dragon. Saitang, you see you later. The son of the celestial. Stuck. Think you want Bo's gonna grump at us? Fair enough. Does anyone want to join the Jade Court? Anyone that's not a rat? The nation. Ooh, hello there, Golden Mask. I trust our dealings will bear fruit. Golden friend. fruit. Indeed. Indeed. If the Emperor bids, then it is so. Both Emperors are working together here. Our East and West. The Empire. Oslin wants a military alliance. How many settlements do you have? Almost none. I mean, they're about gone, aren't they? Yes. I think the military alliance with Approach Midland, though. Friend and make your Continue offer. to build our... Uh, United Old World Nations. Blessings. Yes. One with a bit more teeth. Who calls? Natural authority. Ah, so the Burning Wind are now willing to join Confederation. We will go ahead and grab them. They've got a lot of land for us. Hopefully some new enemies. And this will give us enough territory. We should be able to confederate with the Northern Provinces a little bit faster. In the name of the Dragon Emperor. The two other named I factions. Bid you causing us some issues, though. For the dragon. For the dragon. Our banners become one. Bow to me, me. And I do actually want to be friends with the spirits of Sean Lin, so I will go ahead and make a deal with them. Not aggression back. Love some wood elf troopers. Even though these guys, I believe, are actually malevolent treekin. So we're not going to worry about any of that. Are province secured? We're not actually dropping into negative in our income. What a surprise. New gains, we got Wiley Village. We'll go ahead and kick out training camp there so we can have our salt mines. Shotguns here at Fu Hung. Probably not a bad idea. Keep the Jade Barracks here. We'll kick out the Alchemist Tower after we get ourselves a new Alchemist. Go ahead and cheat the... Oh, we can't. I was just kidding. We can go ahead... John Lei, the martial artist, or Shuo Duan. This violent man down here. I think since they're more of a front line, or a, uh, a wall, I like John Lei here with the martial artist more defense and physical resistance. Gate Master. Gate Master. The young Kang was the leader of the previous faction, so we'll keep her as is. Got some peasant horsemen. It's not the most impressive. I will not tolerate sloth. No sloths here. We've also got Peng Zhang. Ah, uh, that's where the other alchemist is. Okay. Well, we're not having to any issues fording them. Let's keep both of these armies. One to defend the north and one to defend the south. 
and start pressing in. Ooh, glitch in the matrix. Start pressing into the lands of the lizardmen here. We're improving, but I don't want to be. I'd rather just be improving with the free people. Oh. Uh, so we'll go ahead and demolish this building then, keep the exotic hothouse, and then kick out the corral as well. That works, that works. Get rid of two of Yong Kang's spears. The and then three of those archers. I like just having two of them up front no kind of be expendable. I mean, not expendable. Needed and honored member of our army. It suits my purposes. All right, you want yeah. We can give you some more rain guns, which I like. The idea of quite a bit here. Rain guns from the western provinces, and then cannons from the north. Nangao cannons and western provinces alchemy. We'll go ahead and get rid of this group of onyx crowmen because Lost I would like to use our approved. unit slots on things we don't currently have. So we'll grab two cannons for her there. Let this army be the first one that starts to rain down some roar on the enemy. Beautiful stuff. Yao Kang has been moved. We will have him. He was trying to scare off Albrick. What are you up to? We're buddies, but I don't trust you at all. Harmony above all. Yao, you move up to kind of defend here at... It benefits the Empire. I'm thinking... Hawk Walks would be a good good place for you to go. Vulcan. And Yuan Bo can hold the line here at Hexawaddle while we're building up that next... Astromantic Relay. Right. Give him the skills he needs there. Zhengdi Kai. Give him Sprite Control. Caravan, I really do like the hidden stores as much as I can, and we'll probably go for Wayfinders to not get ambushed. Because ambushes are the worst. So Flint's Corruption, get those passes working. Keep a safe. Tactician is such a good ability to have. Whispering to himself. Fortunate that I'm actually great and never do anything wrong. Riverlands, let's go ahead and chuck in our hunting camp. Get the hunt's been working. And then a town as well. I'd love to see the hunting camp maybe give ourselves get a bit of a recruit bonus or recruit cost reduction to archers. Just give our trade resources for Cathay a little bit of uh, more value. I know you're supposed to gain value with them when you turn them into the districts as well. Like, let's come on down for two Pahwaks and I'll show off what has changed. Then we'll go ahead and call the episode there. So here at Pahwaks, the uh, Celestial Tower is not going to give us anything different because it's a military building. Uh, the Goods Emporium now is going to be also increasing the sale value car of all of our cargo by 30% for all characters, which is just insane. And then the Alchemy Workshop will be giving us a vigor loss reduction of 5% all of our armies, which is also pretty good. But I'd really like to see some of these smaller bonuses, maybe smaller than this, uh, added on in as well to give those trade resources a bit more flavor and value. Gotrek's our last lad that has been moved. Felix also hasn't been moved. Exploring the Destiny guides me. bleak coast here. See if maybe Mother Ostankia might have survived. Maybe hold up somewhere. Let's see. Time you actually are going to spawn him without having moved. That's great. We'll post up in the Temple of Elemental Winds. And we can give you... We got three Halberd Warriors. It's not bad. We'll give you one more Frontline Warrior. And then... I like the idea of some Lanterns for everyone that's defending the, the borders. We'll give you some Lanterns and then one more set of Crossbows with Shields. Because you are fancy. Then it's the Jade Dragon's Edict everywhere that we have just claimed. Help out with that, with that control. And then when that's truly in order, we'll switch over to the Iron Dragon's Edict for a bit of research rate. And outpost in Ausland. Uh, probably not. Let's 
move on through. We've got the caravan dispatch. I'm thinking we'll send Teddy's Rough Riders back on out. Looks like we'll make the most gold from Kareza Karak. We can get some interesting goodies from some of these other places here. Problem is, now Wintertooth owns Marienburg. We have the routes over to Southlands yet? No, not, not quite yet. We'll just go back to Kareza Karak then for that maximum gold. Bump that up to 11,000 returns and we'll send them on their way. Looks like they've got some danger here. Several dangerous points along their journey. See if they can handle it. As long as we don't get ambushed, we should be able to handle it. And that'll be your turn. I trust you will not waste my time. Oh, he's here to waste our time, 100%. I shall need a brief break from all this glorious slaughter. Brief break for 900 gets you 10 seconds. And the rats charge in. Not to fall in glorious combat. For honor, not fame. For honor, not fame. We cannot risk your existence. And now we've got ourselves some undercover bosses. Of late, two cats have been regular visitors to camp. The larger one, a golden furred male, solemnly watches your soldiers train, while the other, a silvery female, is more affectionate, bringing comfort to the disaffected. Out walking late, unable to sleep, you find both in your path, gazing at you expectantly. We could pet the female, feed the male, throw them down the well. Perhaps they're evil spirits. Or we could ignore the cats. Extra leadership with fighting demons, but less control. So we can either pet the female and gain a construction cost increase to all yen buildings, and a recruitment cost reduction for yang. Feed the male. Increase the construction cost for Yang buildings, but drop the fruit cost for Yen. Interesting. We're not throwing them down a well. We'll go ahead and feed the male. We haven't been building that many uh, Yang buildings, and we have been recruiting all of the missile troops. That ship is destroyed, the overlords are destroyed, Zifflin is gone. Action's falling left and right here. Active One Mao is flying about on a celestial lion. I am curious to see how strong this is. Yuan, you do get to keep your you do get to keep your lion. Leader of men. Come on over here and give you fast hands for all of our elite archers there. Extra missile strength and 10% less reload time. Sounds great. I would take that to defend my soldiers. Only these guys have access to it. It increases their missile strength all the way up to 26. Not bad. Right, well, that is going to be all the time I've got for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by today's Yuan Bo episode. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub to the sub thon. See you on the next one.